Welcome to another episode of Walk and Talk. Today, I'm joined again by Alex Poynton. Alex, thank you so much for coming back. Sure. <laughs> and one of the things that um, we want to talk about today is a trend that I'm seeing as I'm talking with leaders, and I think you're talking with leaders too. So if you're ready, do you want to walk? Let's do it. In recent conversations, you know, there's been this uptick of leaders really wanting to dig into their operating model in their organization design. And I've seen that lately in the last few months. Absolutely. More than in the past. Can you talk a little bit about that? What is that? Well, of course, I mean, most organizations, their operating model that they had just blew up 18 months ago, right? Fair, yeah. Um, <laughs> But in all seriousness, what I think leaders are doing is, you know, one silver lining is having, you know, uh, the ability to take a breath, step back, and be able to look now from a different vantage point of how their teams are working. Mm -hmm. So by taking that step back, they're looking at it and they're asking que themselves questions or they're noticing some of the, the pain points or pinch points, we call them. So they're asking questions like, you know, do I have enough levels of management? I'm concerned about my uh, my best leaders or my best people. Are they being burnt out? Do they have enough support? How many levels uh, of, of management do I need? How big are my teams? And then really actually some fundamental questions on how important is it for us to be specialized within our larger organization? How important is it for us to be building centers of excellence? They're asking these really profound questions, quite honestly, that then it is, call, is necessitating um, us to do some, some work to look at that operating model, that organizational design, and provide our recommendations on perhaps the best way to organize these teams most efficiently. I love that. I was just in a conversation yesterday talking about Agile and, and oh, working yeah. with an organization who's trying to move to a more Agile approach and what does that mean for their teams and where they might not be able to go all in, but how do they go half in? How do they, how do they start to work toward that mm -hmm. um, as a longer term goal? So. Yeah, Agile and change management as well. It's all kind of combined too with organizational design or an operating model because what, when you, people, leaders say Agile, what do they really want? They want fast decision making. Yeah. They want efficiency, <laughs> right? They want to remove barriers. Um, and, and again, that's where this work that, that we do on operating model and org design is very much focused. Excellent. So for leaders who are in that space, what would you tell them are the two to three things that they could start to do now or maybe that they look at to, to see, is this something that they should be digging into? So whenever you're looking at your organizational uh, structure and design or your operating model, if you're a leader, the first thing I tell you is take your org chart and throw it out the window. And the reason why is you want to get very objective. So you want to be looking instead to try to map out how your people are working together, working with the larger corporation and working with your vendors. If you map that way, it'll be very easy to see then how your team structure in that very finite, linear fashion might not be supporting the ways that, that people need to work to be more efficient. The second thing I would say is understand at a, at a pretty detailed level, quite honestly, what activities your, your teams are engaging in. It doesn't have to be, you know, to the hour or some type of, um, you know, very extensive way to, you know, put people on a timer. But if you get bonus points though, if you're looking at people's activities and how they relate to capabilities that you're trying to drive within the organization. Again, removing titles, removing departments, details, and just looking at what are the capabilities that these people are supporting across the organization or across the business unit. Again, gives you some objectivity when you're looking at how, how should we be organized to be more effective. And the third thing I would recommend is, again, be very clear about what you are trying to achieve as a leader. So with organizational design, the thing is there are pros and cons to every type of structure you have. There's very traditional structures and very informal, agile structures. There's not one perfect, one size fits all. But you have to get clear of what is most important, right? When I taught, was talking about, do we want to be a center of excellence or do we want to be very specialized to our customer or niche? Can't be both. 
but you want to be, uh, you can move in a direction to be more focused on whichever way, uh, whichever way you can organize to better serve your customer um, would, would be a great thing to, to kind of keep in mind.